Good morning and uh, happy new year. Uh, welcome to today's um, episode of the vlogs as we continue to look through the characters of the Bible. And today's character we're looking at Thomas. Uh, could be known as the twin or Didymus. And we can find this story in John chapter 20 verses 24 to 31. So Thomas may be a character that we think of as a bit of a lesser character because of his doubt. He's renowned for doubting the resurrection of Jesus. But I, for one, am very grateful for the story of Thomas in the Bible, whereas I've had moments of doubt in my mind um, before coming to faith. Um, so as one of the main disciples, he spent a lot of time with Jesus. Thomas must have believed Jesus was someone special because uh, he was willing to die with Jesus. But Thomas must have been very disappointed and confused and in total turmoil when Jesus was crucified because he wasn't what, expecting to happen. So whilst researching to the character Thomas, I found a film on um, YouTube called Thomas, funnily enough. Uh, this uh, film was from the perspective of Thomas. So it's not very really scripturally accurate, but it's an interesting film nonetheless. So the basis of the film was looking at the time after the crucifixion from Thomas's perspective. So in the film, Thomas is running around looking for Jesus, his body, to, to bury it. And um, so whilst he's looking for, for the body and um, he's in great turmoil, he wants to believe. And um, the disciples, the other disciples, Jesus shows himself to them. So it's as if Thomas was so busy looking for the dead Jesus that he misses out on the risen Christ. So Thomas was full of turmoil and doubt and the, the water was muddy by the Romans and by the by the Jewish elite that he didn't know what to believe. He really wanted to believe, but he was in turmoil. So whilst looking through my Bible, um, I found where Thomas was mentioned in the book of John. And here's a timeline of um, when Thomas is mentioned. So in chapter 11, verse 16, so Thomas called the twin, said to his fellow disciples, let us also go that we may die with him. Thomas is definitely not fearful. He may well, uh, not have understood what was needing to happen to Jesus, um, but he was willing to die with him. Thomas said to him in for, uh, chapter 14, verse five, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Here shows that Thomas is close to Jesus, close enough to question him and to, to ask him. Again, it's also showing his need for certainty. In, in chapter 20, 24, um, now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So, so Thomas wasn't with the initial um, sighting of Jesus uh, after his resurrection. In 2026, 20, eight days later, his disciples were inside again and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, peace be with you. So in this verse is showing as if Jesus returns to meet disciples, just so Thomas can believe what grace and mercy Christ is showing us here. And in 2027, then he said to Thomas, put your finger here and see my hands and put your hands and place them in my side. Do not disbelieve, but believe. Here, Jesus invites Thomas to do exactly as he was asking earlier to ensure that there would be no doubt at all in Thomas's mind. So Thomas answered him, my Lord and my God. And Jesus said to him, have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. So in the book that we are walking through, um, it talks about the biggest problem for coming to faith is doubt and cynicism. Unfortunately, I fall into both traps. Um, I'm sure many have, not only men, but women alike. We tend to want to things to be clear and we want to see way up the pros and cons before committing to saying we believe. I suppose it wants, we want to protect ourselves from being made to look a fool. Um, we've been teased in the past from or some time to time of being gullible. Someone spins a story, we get drawn in, accepting as truth, or we might just be indifferent to it. Then find out that 
they were just winding us up or if it was a bit of a joke. But on this occasion, Thomas' situation, I don't think it was the trap that he fell into. Thomas had walked with Jesus. He'd seen that Jesus could do and he wasn't coming into it cold. Far from it. I think Thomas may have just wanted to see Jesus and to see him alive so he could believe. He wanted certainty. So some I've heard some people say that maybe we look at the opposite of faith as being certainty and not doubt. We all want to have certainty and if we did then we'd be no need for faith. But in the words of Christ, blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Now this is grace and love. Jesus appears later as if expressly to encourage Thomas to believe. As we go into the new year, let's think of a time, times of grace where Christ has shown himself to us. And let's be grateful for those times. So questions to finish with. After the episode, Thomas expressed in his doubt, Jesus said, blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. How could you, how could we build up the muscles of faith? Where in our lives can we see an opportunity for that kind of exercise? So step out in faith rather than stand back in analytical silence. Be a person of why not and not what if. And let the adventure of Christ and Christianity follow through the next year. Have a great day everyone. Goodbye.